Hello, you're watching Bed TV. We are broadcasting from the lands of the Kulin Nation. I am Erin Kian, my pronouns are he, him, and I am joined by Kaylin and Richo, both he, him pronouns as well. And we're here to chat a little bit about trans men's issues. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about the good allies and the not so good allies, but we're gonna focus on the former ones. And I'd like to chat with you both. I'd love to hear like the the best like moments for you where someone has been really, really good about either you coming out to them or like just supporting you in some way in like being a trans man and like being allowed to be a part of the world. Mm. Are there any like standout moments for you? For me personally, it's just uh, getting pronouns right yeah. and being patient because um, I change around a little bit just with, with friends and everything. So one of my exes, who I was a bit concerned about telling, um, he just was like, okay, whatever makes you happy, I don't care. It doesn't yeah. impact me. And I'm just like, H is that because you haven't realized that this makes you gay, which he just didn't care. And that was great. And he still gets pronouns wrong sometimes, but he, I know when it's malicious and when it's just... Like pronouns are such a huge thing. Like I notice when people don't use the right pronouns. Mm -hmm. But I have also had some people in my life where I'm actually okay because I know they're working at it in their own way. Mm -hmm. Like when my family, uh, they, don't, they don't anymore, but you know, my family used to misgender me with pronouns. It wasn't because they didn't think I wasn't trans. They were just still, oh, I've known this person this way for 30 years and mm. now it's different. Um, yeah. And that was like, yeah, weirdly gratifying mm. because the fact they were struggling meant they were trying mm -hmm. kind of thing. This is a good point as any to mention that what is good for one person is not necessarily good for another. Like when I'm like, oh, I have a lot of sympathy for my family when they were trying and that was important. I don't have that same sympathy for other people. <laughs> like if I just meet someone and they start using the wrong pronouns, I'm not so down with that. Mm. Um, like it is very, very. Or if they're like he, him pronouns the whole way until finally finding out you're trans and then suddenly they, they, I see what you're doing, don't do it. Yeah, so quick, quick note, the they as a neutral pronoun is great, it's fantastic. If you don't know someone's pronouns, they is great. Mm -hmm. If you know someone's pronouns and they're not they, don't use they mm -hmm. because that's misgendering. And I, I'm actually really glad to hear you say that because I get that a lot and I occasionally worry that it's just me. So. It's, I, I, that sucks that you know what that's like, yeah. but also, wow, I'm not alone. That's very yeah. comforting. Like, they is so valid as a pronoun. Absolutely. But it's not the one I use, so don't. Yeah. And it's one of those things, like, I'm not going to be upset if, like, a person at the shops calls me they because they don't know. So mm. it doesn't matter. But if you know, you know. I know for me, one of the most gratifying things when I was still coming out to, to friends was when guys would invite me to their, like, guys' activities. It was so meaningful at the time. Like, now it's just, well, mm. yeah, like, obviously. But when I was still, like, coming out and a bit unsure, that was so comforting mm. to know I was being welcomed in that way. Like, it was such a small gesture, but it meant so much. I'll just add on that. I guess I've, I suppose I've always been one of the boys and hanging out with a lot of guy friends. But yeah. since transitioning, there's been, like, one or two times, I guess, I said, oh, Richard, he's a good bloke, and I'm like, Oh yeah, yeah, I am. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, just little things like that, but obviously it's just language is words, but that didn't happen yeah. before because it wasn't the truth before. Language is just words, but like we all use language yeah. every day. Like mm. that's how we have a culture and a community. Mm. You know, like those little things do matter so much. It's funny things like having a, a question addressed to kind of a room and then. I'll answer it and people kind of double take because it's about cooking or something, mm. you know, the, the female coded things yeah. where, or, or they'll ask something about cars and I'm just like, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> my car's white. <laughs> I put the petrol in and, and it does its thing, don't, don't ask questions. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the mild confusion on people's faces because they're just reading me as a guy, yeah. so apparently I should just magically know. Yeah, it's like on the one hand, mm, sexism, <laughs> but, but on the other hand, like, oh, correct gendering. This is the worst yep. decision. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's always this internal struggle of like... Do I? Am I a bad person for feeling kind of validated and outraged? And outraged at the same time. So for people who are watching, if 
someone comes out to you as a trans man or if you meet a guy who tells you he's trans, what do you think are some of the best ways for people to react to that? Just be thankful that they, they've trusted you enough to come out to you. Yeah. Um, and asking them what you can do now. Like each person's transition is unique to them. Yeah. Everyone's different. What's like you said before, what's right for one person might not be right for another. Someone mm. might not be too bothered about pronouns but might be super anxious about bathrooms or clothes or how they look, like it's or vice versa. Like it's, mm. it's so unique to the individual. I think that's really true, like you were saying about like being thankful for that trust because like if some yeah if someone is like it's trusting you huge. enough to come out that's mm. such a big deal like they are proving how much they trust you by doing that so i feel like you should yeah like really appreciate that and like take it very seriously mm. yeah and maybe don't ask if i want to be a woman because trans men exist mm. yeah <laughs> that's trans a, women are great yeah I've but i'm not one, one. <laughs> It's okay to have questions. I think it's even okay to ask questions, um, but maybe preface it with, is it okay if I ask Get a consent question? to ask questions. Mm -hmm. Maybe try Googling things that yeah. are really simple. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually, if you know, be like, I don't know much about that. I promise I'm gonna Google it. If someone said that to me, I would be extremely happy mm. um, because that shows like an initiative mm. to care. Sometimes something on Google might not be yeah, that's true. The experience of this person. Yes, that's um, also true. Oh yeah. no, people are individuals. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is this? There's no one catch-all mm. answer. Hopefully that gives you somewhere to start. Just be nice, ask questions, polite questions, and just do your best. I think we, we all know how it can be very confronting and it's scary for us too, so. We're all in this mess together. Kaylin and Ruche, thank you both so much for coming thank on you. to chat about this. My name is Erin Kian and you've been watching Bed TV.